what's up everybody? Richard Jared Cosme Warner jumping on giving everybody the big what's up. Hope everybody's been doing awesome. Uh, it's just amazing to be around and have the opportunity to present all the things that I do to you guys and I uh, hope you can really go check them out and see some of the awesome stuff that a lot of the writers, authors that I've brought you, musicians, um, what they were able to accomplish or do and the works are very empowering, mind-blowing, or informative, you know, shedding light on things that have been suppressed or intentionally kept secret from, you know, the common man, uh, which when you understand the common man is that superhuman uh, ready to be unleashed and has that potential laying dormant in them. So dig deep, guys, uh, bring that about. I'm jumping on talking about an awesome, amazing writer back in the day in the 1800s, um, Robert Reverend Thomas Taylor, um, amazing guy. He wrote The Devil's Pulpit, and he really goes into a detailed work showing where a lot of the perversions in the text and the intentional changing of, of words and meanings throughout the uh, theological text of the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, and then a lot of things where they come from. So he is a true um, researcher into some of the things that... Uh, were perverted and suppressed for that very reason of intentionally separating people from that true potential and it wasn't just by mistake that these institutions did it so very important uh, Reverend Robert Thomas Taylor um, look him up he was incarcerated for a lot of his works at his times because they were trying to suppress him and now they're all vindicated um, and his works will carry on today and they're very empowering especially his individual story but um, when you read his works, you can see his intelligence, his credentials, and uh, eye-opening, informative works to a lot of things and misconceptions that masses of people hold still to today can be uh, shown that they, they were in error. So it's important to do, and it's a thing for a hard thing for people, a tough pill to swallow, um, that they've thought they were right all this time, and then to be confronted with something wrong, so it's tough. But you've got to be able to change that perception in this day and age. So... Anyway, guys, jump on, check them out, go on uh, YouTube, look up Kindle, you can get their works for free uh, if you dig hard enough, but it's good to buy the book, support the cause, and build your own libraries. I'll be back at you guys, one love.